Okay, so we're continuing with linear correlation. Uh, this is question three of the 2017 exam for business maths one. Um, we did part A. We saw that we had um, this example here with exercise and cholesterol, and we found uh, an OR, an OR value in this case, of minus 0 0.995 with some stuff on the end of it. Okay, that's a very, very strong negative linear correlation. And we have an OR squared of over 0 0.99, so very, very strong. Okay, now it says, find the equation of the regression line. Okay, so why would I do this? Well, I know that the, um, the OR squared is very strong, which means that I um, am able to use my X as a predictor for Y. But I would want to know how to do so. Okay, I would want the, the system uh, that I would have. And the formula is as follows. I have Y is equal to a number A, and then I have some number B times X. So that's my formula. Okay, we have that B is S of X with Y over S of X with X. Pretty simple. And two numbers I've already worked out. Okay, and then we assume that the means are on the line. So y bar is going to be equal to a plus b times x bar. Okay, the means have to be on the line, which means that I can solve for a as a is equal to y bar minus b times x bar. And I have all of this information already worked out. Okay, so b, the first number I need was s of x with y over s of x with x. Okay, and now we can return to my earlier work. Well, we can see here s of x with y was this number here. So that's minus 482. And then I have 1, 9, 9, 9, 3 nines, 8, 6. Okay, and that's my numerator. My denominator is s of x with x, which was this number here, that's 70. And I will be able to find what B is right here. Okay, so minus 482.199.3986. And I'm going to divide that by 70. Okay, and I will truncate after this, but I'm not going to, I'm not, I would prefer not to do it right away. Okay, so this is minus 6.88. And I'm going to do the rounding now. I'm going to change this from uh, an 857 just to a 9 here. So three decimal places is the accuracy I'm choosing to work with. Okay. Which should be good enough. Okay. So this is my B. Okay. And now how do I get A? Well, A is going to be Y bar, which is a number I've worked out, minus B, a number I've just worked out. And then I have X bar, which is a number I've worked out. Okay, so y bar, we can see here it was 117.633, so a recurring number, and I take away, and make sure you get the sign right here, it's minus 6.889. right here my x bar was 7 okay okay so again everything I need is now there okay so that's my uh, situation that I want to solve okay again it can be done on a calculator very easily 117.6 one, one, six, uh, 6 and a bunch of threes and minus by minus gives plus, so plus, and then I have 6.889 times 7. Okay. And that gives 165.856. Okay. And I'm going to change that. Yeah, 856 is fine. Okay, 
Now, that means that y is going to be equal to 165.856. And now I have my model here. I have plus b, which is negative. So minus 6.889 times the x variable. That's my, um, that's my regression equation. Okay, that's my regression line. Okay, so x here is the time in hours, and y then ends up being um, uh, a concentration of cholesterol um, some, somewhere in the body. It doesn't say. Okay, and it says if a person exercised for nine hours per week, what level of this type of cholesterol would we expect? Okay, so we have um, uh, a model that now allows me to predict, okay, what cholesterol concentration is expected. If a person works, uh, a person exercises, exercises for nine hours each week. Okay. Well, the first thing I need to check, and this is. Um, it's not difficult to do, okay? I need to check that 9 is actually in the range that I am working with. Now it is, 9 is between 2 and 12, but if we're outside it, the correct answer here is we can't answer that question. In this case, we can, okay? Uh, 9 is between 2 and 12, which means that I can, in fact, uh, use the model I have just created, okay? So what do we do? Well, it's very simple. I just let x equal to 9, okay? So now I put that into this equation here, and I would have y is equal to 165.856, and I subtract away 6.889 times 9. That will give me an answer, okay? I have 165.856 take away 6.889 multiplied by 9. And there it is, 103.855. There are units given in the question, which I think is milligrams per deciliter. I would not take marks away if you left that out. But we'll include it for the sake of completeness. Now, we can ask ourselves, does this make sense? We, we always have a little check here that's... Uh, that's um, that's worth doing, okay? If the x value, this 9 here, is in the appropriate range, and it is from 2 to 12 in this case, 9 is between uh, 9 is between 2 and 12, and in particular 9 is between 8 and 10, okay? So the y value that I get for 9 should be between the y values that I get for 8 and 10, okay? So we see that either side I have 114.7, I have 98.1, and 103 is roughly in between the two of those. Okay, it's not exactly halfway between the two of those, but it is in between the two of those. Okay, so this is a number that I'm confident can be correct. Okay. Um, are there any more things that I should mention on this before I close up the video? Um, I would recommend, again, that you do not um, round your decimal place is too early, okay? The only reason that that can be a very big problem is when we get to this calculation here with OR, okay? When you have numbers that are very close to 1, okay? So for example here, or plus or minus 1 in this case, minus, uh, very close to minus 1. Uh, if I round incorrectly, it's possible that I will get a number which is actually below minus 1 or bigger than plus 1 
and that means you've made a mistake. Okay, that is not possible. It cannot happen. Okay, so please be aware that if that happens, it means there is a mistake somewhere in your work. But it may not be that you've done anything wrong. It might just be that the number is actually very close to plus or minus one, and you just rounded too early. So don't uh, don't make the mistake of rounding too early. Give yourself four or five decimal places during computation, and then at the end you can expect that everything will work out uh, just fine. Do not round too early. Okay, uh, we can leave that there then. That's the uh, question three. Um, that is the last common question for business maths one and uh, maths for managers. So um, from here on in, I might have to make uh, some specific videos for, uh, for each group. But I hope that that has been helpful. Okay, uh, be well.